the instrument tray is positioned on a sterile table. First, the required sutures are handed in a sterile manner. Different needles are available. A half circle needle, a 3 8 circle needle and a straight needle. A needle can be placed in the needle holder in various ways, depending on the desired way of stitching. In most situations, the needle is held near its midpoint, in a perpendicular manner in the tip of the jaws. By moving the jaws of the holder near the tip of the needle, more force can be applied to it, which is useful in tough tissue. In narrow spaces, with limited space for moving the handles of the needle holder, it may be necessary to place the needle on the needle driver in an oblique manner. The needle positioning requires only a push or a pull to perforate the tissue with limited rotation of the needle driver. Positioning the needle driver more to the eye works best for soft tissue since less force can be placed on the tip. When removing a needle, always place it in the specially designated bin for sharp items. Secondly, blades are handed in a sterile manner. A 10 blade with a curved cutting edge, an 11 blade that is triangularly pinpointed, a 12 blade also known as the stitch cutter, and a 15 blade which is a smaller version of a 10 blade. The blade is placed with a clamp or needle driver on the scalpel holder. Removal of the blade should not be done with the fingers but with a blade remover or forceps. The base is pressed down to release it from the slot and then slid off. Multiple grips are possible. First, the pencil grip which allows short, precise incisions. The cutting edge is smaller, limiting the depth of the incision. The fingertip grip positions the scalpel more horizontally, which allows more control during longer incisions. The scalpel is even more horizontal in the palm grip, with more cutting edge, which is useful in long incisions.